One of her favorite things is eye contact. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to my channel. From the title of this video, you obviously know that this is little Miss Chloe's three month update. You're three months old. So let's jump right in. Um, I hope that the lighting and, hi Biggie, <laughs> my cat's right here. Um, I hope that the lighting and everything is good. I am using my brand new tripod that I just got and for some reason I put my DSLR on it opposed to the camera I usually film videos on. So I hope the lighting and everything is okay but this is just the way it's going to be so if it's not, if it bothers you, click out of this video. <laughs> so let's jump right in. So if you've watched any of my other updates for this little girl, um, you know that I'm following like a list sort of, so I talk about the same things every month. I think Biggie is going to be in and out of this video because he's hungry. He's always hungry, but he doesn't want to go outside because it's pouring rain. So the first thing in the list is eating. Um, basically all I have to say is that she's still exclusively breastfed, she loves to eat, she's a great eater. She does get a bottle once in a while and she takes it like a champ. She not bothered by a whole lot. So that's basically all I have to say in regards to eating. Um, the second thing is sleeping. Um, she takes random naps all day long. She does a lot of 30 minute naps, like 30 minutes to 45 minutes, which Grace did all the time as well, my older daughter. Um, and I believe it's because a baby's sleep cycle is 30 minutes, so they wake up after 30 minutes. Like, even adults have sleep cycles and we wake up um, a bunch of times at night. I've been taking Chloe's uh, three month photos and Biggie wants to play with these. Um, people wake up multiple times a night but you just don't remember it because we're so used to it we like put ourselves back to sleep but babies have a harder time doing that which is why they often don't sleep through the night but um, yeah I think that like their sleep cycle is like 30 minutes and that's part of why they a lot of babies will wake up um, or like only have 30 minute naps. So anyways she has a lot of like random naps throughout the day. Um, sometimes she'll have up to a three hour nap in the day, but it doesn't like, there's no rhyme or reason. It just depends on what she feels like doing that day. So she usually goes to bed anywhere between 7.30 and 8.30, which is the same as last month um, because Grace goes to bed at 7. So then after we put Grace to bed, we put her to bed and just, that's just been our routine. So she was for a good, probably this entire past month, waking up. Well, maybe not the whole month, but for the most part, waking up at about 4 a.m., between 3 and 5, um, and then I feed her and put her back down, and then she sleeps till, like, 7.30 or 8.30, depending on how late Grace sleeps, because pretty much as soon as I get up out of bed, she wakes up. Biggie, please don't scratch the window. Um, so yeah, she, that's been her, like, usual sleep routine for the last month or so, but last night she actually slept almost... 12 hours. I was going to say 7 hours. Almost 12 hours. I'm not sure what time she went to bed, but like around 8-ish or whatever, and she slept till like 7-ish. I can't remember exactly, but it's in my phone. But she slept till like, like yeah, she slept almost 12 hours. I think it was like 11 and a half or something, which was crazy. I could not believe that. But she has been sleeping a lot like the past, I don't even less, like past like half, half of a week. It's a weird time frame to give. The last few days she's been sleeping a lot, so I think that she is probably growing. She really wasn't a good sleeper in the first couple weeks, and I was really worried because having a toddler, it's a lot harder to have a newborn who doesn't sleep because you're up. <laughs> because you have to get up at whatever time your toddler gets up, and you have to get up and you have to make them breakfast and do all those things that your toddler needs because they're ready to go for the day, but you're tired because you've been up all night with a newborn. But she just all of a sudden sleeping through the night clicked for her and she's done so great the last little while and I knock on wood I really hope I don't jinx it but even like last night I think was a total fluke I don't think she's gonna be sleeping 12 hours anytime soon like regularly but um, her waking up between 3 and 5 it's usually 4 but sometimes it's 3 and sometimes it's 5 um, that's been a really nice change I'm really glad that she sort of figured out that nighttime thing so the next category is her size she is this big hey you're this big she is right in between 0 to 3 month and 3 to 6 month size clothes like her six, like the next size up is still a bit big, but the smaller size is starting to get like somewhat tight on her. So she's like right in between there. 
She is still in size 1 diapers, but only because we have a bunch of size 1s still. Um, probably could switch her to size 2s and she'd be fine. Um, we will be switching her when we get through all the diapers we have, or if not sooner. Um, we'll just have to see how it goes. But she is like right on the verge of sizing up in her diapers as well as her clothes. So she had her um, three month doctor's appointment, which actually was supposed to be her two month appointment, but I waited too long to book it. So it ended up being her three month appointment. Um, she had that on Friday and today is Tuesday. And so on Friday she was weighed at 12 pounds, 12 ounces. And she was uh, 59 and a half centimeters. I don't know how many inches that is. I did not Google it, but she is right on average. She is in the 51th, 51st, 50, 51th, 51st, percentile um, for height and weight actually so she has a perfect curve um, as far as her weight here is her curve I don't think I've ever showed this before oh it's totally not gonna focus you can kind of see those little dots there it does not want to focus um, but this is the uh, glow baby app and I just put her info into it and it shows me her curve for her height um, she was a little bit, tiny, tiny bit below average. There we go. But she is right on average at the 51st percentile. This focus. So if you don't know what um, her being in the 51st percentile means, it basically means that there are, out of 100 babies at her age, 49 of them are smaller than her. Right? Is that the right math? You know, if she was at the 50th percentile, then 50 would be bigger and 50 would be smaller. Yeah, so um, that's just basically what it means, if that makes sense. Um, and her head, I don't think I've ever talked about her head circumference. Um, she did have a tiny head, not like so small that it was worrisome or anything, um, but she is in the 54th percentile for her head size now, so she is right on average. She's totally average size, which is so funny because Grace was always at the top of the percentiles. And this little monkey is right on average. Um, and speaking about her head, I just wanted to mention, because I don't have this written down, and I just thought of it now, but she uh, has that line there. She is starting to lose some of her hair. So I don't know if that's just from her, like, laying down or whatever, um, or if she actually is going to lose all of this brown hair. And we always joke about how funny it would be if it grew in blonde, because that would just be so weird. But yeah, um, just wanted to mention that, because I don't have it written down. So the next thing on the list is her favorites. Um, one of her favorite things is eye contact. She loves eye contact um, with anyone really, but she loves me, her dad, and Grace. She loves her big sister so much, and you love eating your hands, don't you? That's one of your favorite things for sure. But she loves eye contact with us. She loves her big sister so much. It's so cute, and Grace loves her as much too. Hey, does your big sister love you? Um, another thing that she loves these days is bath time. I don't know if she loves it, but she likes it a whole lot more than she ever did, and Grace loves to help, and I think that's maybe why Chloe likes it so much. It's because Grace is pretty much always right there when we're giving her a bath. The two other things that I have written down on the list, um, that for her favorites, I don't think I've talked about her loving them in previous updates, but she has always loved the Ergo. Oh, really? She's always loved the Ergo and her Docatot. She, those are her two favorite places to be if she can't be being held, which Ergo was kind of like being held, but you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, I've never talked about those, but she has loved those things forever. Do you want your soother? She also loves her Wubba Nub. Probably as much, maybe not as much as Grace did, but she is a big hand chewer, which I don't really remember Grace doing, and I'm kind of thinking that she might be an early teether. Just because of how much she puts her hand in her mouth, I don't, I put my finger in her mouth and I don't feel any teeth at all, but she puts her hand in her mouth all the time, so I don't know if it's just like exploring or, I don't know, but she doesn't chew her soother and once we put her soother in her mouth, it's fine, like she's fine, she doesn't try and get her hand in there, so I don't know what it is, but she loves to chew on her hand. What is up? What are you trying to wiggle away to? What's going on? So as far as dislikes, the only thing really, I think it's the only thing I've ever talked about in all of her updates has been being alone. You know, she does not like being alone. Like if you put her in her cradle and then like walk out of the room, like she's very unhappy. She just does not like being alone. What's going on, you wiggler? She just always wants to be with people and have noise around and just, she just 
doesn't like being alone. I don't know what else to say for her dislikes. So at the bottom of my list I just have a few random things to talk about that I wasn't really sure what section to put them in. Um, she is talking so much more. Whoa, you're wiggling everywhere. Like, obviously not talking words, but like cooing and making noises. Um, if you watch my vlogs, then you would definitely have seen that. She, it's just the last probably week, I would say. She just started like talking up a storm. She is so strong. It's crazy. She loves tummy time. She's trying to roll over like from her back. If you watch my vlogs, you also would have seen that, that she can roll onto her side from her back, which is crazy. Hey, she's super strong. Grace was always really strong, but I don't remember Grace rolling over from her back this early. Maybe I should go and watch her updates and see if I mentioned it then. But yeah, Chloe is so strong. She's also started rubbing her eye. This is a new thing. Hey, did you figure out you could itch your eye? And she's so smiley. I don't think she smiled in this video. Let's see if I can get her to smile. She loves when you touch her cheeks. Hey, we go. Cheeky, 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 cheeky. Uh, cheeky, 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 cheeky. Mwah. Cheeky, 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 cheeky. She's so smiley. I, we, Greg and I think she's way smilier than Grace was at this age. I know I always compare them, but when you're a parent, I just feel like you can't help but compare them with the milestones and stuff. But it doesn't make one better than the other, huh? Just different. And you like to eat your hand and smile. Cheeky, cheeky. <laughs> I love you. So I have two things left on my list to talk about. The first one is she got this new chair. She got this for Christmas from my dad and he just let us use it because why not? She is only three months old. She's not going to be able to open her gifts for Christmas. So um, that and then the other thing is that um, at the doctor's appointment um, on Friday, like I said, um, our doctor said we don't need to come back for two months, which is awesome because I'm pretty sure it's every month for the first... I don't know, like four months or something. I can't totally remember. But I think because I'm not a first time mom, um, I have a really good relationship with my doctor and Chloe has no concerns at all. I think that's why she doesn't need to see us for two months. So that made me feel good that she has so little concerns that she figures we're good. Unless of course something comes up for two whole months. Hey? And then she said we'll talk about solid foods, which is crazy that we're anywhere near that point, which we're not really because she won't be starting solids for another three months when she's six months so like another whole lifetime to her because she's only three months old so I'm gonna pull her chair over and show her sitting in her chair because she does really like it you can't even really see her because of this toy bar so this comes out let's move it so we can see you so this is the Fisher Price sit me up chair I believe it's called um there's a lot of different versions of it let's see I'll push it back a little bit uh, can you see it's called it's a floor seat so I feel like this is blurry now, but this is like on the floor. Um, it's comparable to like a bumbo. A lot of people use this instead of a bumbo or a bumbo instead of this kind of thing. But Grace never liked the bumbo. I think because her legs were really chunky, she didn't fit in it very well. But I just felt like this was a better option. Um, I don't know. I just wanted to try something different and it is cool. It has this little toy bar which she really, really loves and it can come out. So And so... Um, you can put snacks in here when they when she's big enough obviously so i think that's all i have to say for this little girl's three month update um i know last month i talked about her nicknames she doesn't have any new nicknames she's pretty much mostly just coco or beanie i call her beanie a lot or variations of that but actually now thinking about last month's update i don't think i call her beanie weenie anymore he but coco is pretty much her nickname coco or chloe i find i actually call her her name a lot more these days. I don't know why that is. Hey, I don't know why that is. And she looks this way all the time, just like Grace did. Hey, hey. Right now you see something. What do you see? Can you look at the camera? Hey, go for your close up. <laughs> Coco Bean. Coco Bean. Look, who's that pretty girl? Who's that pretty girl? Oh, actually, another thing that I wanted to mention is that she spits up a lot. Not to the point that I think she has reflux or anything. It doesn't bother her. She's not uncomfortable about it. But she's definitely way more of a spitter-upper than Grace ever was. And I just noticed I'm probably looking over this way, this whole entire video. That's because this camera, the, um, what's it called? The screen pops out to the side and not above. So, sorry if that was super annoying because I just realized I'm doing that. But she spits up a lot more than Grace did, ever did. Well, 
than I ever remember, but no. No, I think she spits up a lot more. Anyways, that's all we have to say. Hey? Oh, you got spit up there. Of course, you heard me talking about it, so that's why you did that. Anyways, say thanks for watching. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to follow our journey. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!